Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at the chapter on binomial expansion, but first of all we're going to look at Pascal's triangle to answer questions from exercise 8a. So first of all, what is Pascal's triangle and where does it come from? Well you may have seen it lower down the school, but here's a way that we can include it with expanding uh, quite a lot of brackets, 0 to start with, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and this works for as we go up the powers on expanding the brackets. Now to start off with, anything to the power of 0 is 1, and then a plus b to the power of 1 is just 1a add 1b. I'll show you why we're writing this soon. When we expand a plus b squared, we actually get 1a squared, and then 2ab's, and then plus 1b squared. You may want to try this third one on your own. If you expand this, you get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus 1b cubed. And for a to the 4, it's 1a to the 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus 1b to the power 4. Now what we notice here is a pattern to do with the numbers that are appearing in front of these letters here. And as you'll see, if we times, if we want to get the number below, we times the two numbers, sorry, add the two numbers from the uh, diagonal left and the diagonal right above it. So 1 add 2 is 3. For this term down here, 3 add 1 is 4. And for this term here, 3 add 3 is 6. And what you also may notice is on the powers, if we go along the bottom one, the power on the a is going down incrementally by 1 each time until we've got no powers of a. And the power on the b is starting at 0 and going up incrementally by 1 each time as we go through the line of Pascal's triangle. So the coefficients here make Pascal's triangle 1. And we've seen here that you add the two terms from above to get the term beneath, and it's always surrounded by 1s. The next term would obviously be this line here. So, for the binomial expansion, what we're going to use is Pascal's triangle on the coefficients and a's and b's for the first term is, va is the value a, and the second term we'll use as the letter b. So in this question here, if we're looking to expand this, we're first of all going to look at the third row on Pascal's triangle, where we're going to use the letter a as the first expression here, which is x, and b as the second expression here, which is 2y. If this was minus 2y, it would be, it would be minus 2y. I'm going to look at the third row on the Pascal's triangle. And what we're going to do now is just substitute in our value for a, b, and uh, we're going to use the third row to expand this polynomial here. So what we're going to get is this expression here. So the first term is just going to be a cubed, and a is the value x, so it's just x cubed. Then it's going to be 3 times a squared, and a is x, times b, where b is 2y, plus 3 lots of x, plus 2y squared, and 2y cubed on the last term here. Now make sure you expand the brackets properly and simplify. We're going to get 3 times 2 is 6x squared y. Uh, the 2 is going to be squared here, so don't forget to square the number if it's inside a square bracket as well. So that's going to be 3x times 4y squared. And simplifying this further, we're going to get this expression here. So a quick way of expanding a bracket to a very high power is to use Pascal's triangle. Let's have a go at another case here. We've got 2x minus 5 to the power of 4. So we're going to use the fourth row down here. a is going to be the first value here of 2x. b is going to be the negative on the end here. So this is the part that people always uh, slightly mess up on. They think that it's just the 5. In fact, if there's a negative, b needs to represent minus 5. And we're using the fourth row. 
So write out the fourth row and then just substitute in your values for a and b. It's that easy. So it's going to be 2x to the power of 4. Then it's going to be plus 4 times 2x cubed times minus 5. At add 6 times 2x squared times minus 5 squared. Add 4 lots of a, which is 2x, b cubed, which is minus 5 cubed and b to the power of 4, which is minus 4, minus 5 to the power of 4. And simplifying all of this, being really careful, maybe you might even take two stages to do this, uh, being really careful of your negatives. And we get this expression here, 16x to the 4 minus 160x cubed plus 600x squared minus 1000x plus 625. So much, much easier than expanding four brackets and then multiplying all of those brackets by all the other terms inside all of those other brackets. Just use the binomial expansion or use Pascal's triangle coefficients here. Right, a slightly difficult question where we have to work out a value of c inside a bracket. So the coefficient on x squared in the expansion of 2 minus cx cubed is 294. Calculate the value for c. So let's start using the similar method and then we'll set an answer equal to 294. So we're going to work with the third row. So we just need to pull out this term here because the final term, the b term here, is going to be squared and when we square it, we're going to get an answer of 294. So we're only really interested in this term here. So pull that term out. Here, A is going to represent 2. And B is going to represent minus CX. So substitute those in. And this answer is going to be 294X squared. So being really carefully in negatives here, it's going to be 6c squared. Now we know the coefficient on the x squared here is 294. So we can set 6c squared equal to 294. So c here is either positive or negative 7. Okay, so when you're doing a question like this where you're only looking at one type of coefficient, you don't need to expand out the whole brackets. You just need to look for the term you're interested in. Right, uh, pause the video and have a go at these questions from page 160. Right, so well done for pausing the video and having a go at these questions. The first row on Pascal's triangle for the first question is going to be this. So I think I have remembered down to the third row here. So here what we're going to substitute in is a equals x and b equals 4. And from the 3 here I know I've used the third row. So this is going to give me x cubed plus 3 lots of x squared times 4. Add 3 lots of x times 4 squared. Add 4 cubed. So this is going to simplify to x cubed plus 12x squared. Now uh, 4 squared is 16 times by 3 and we get 48x and 4 cubed is 64. So here's our final answer to x plus 4 cubed. Let's expand this term here now. So I'll leave this term here alone at the start and I'll expand this one to start with. So just a reminder, the second row of Pascal's triangle is going to look like this here. A is going to represent 1, B is going to represent 2x. So it's going to be 1 squared, add 2 times 1 times 2x, add 2x all squared. So this is going to simplify to 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. And now we'll bring in the 1 plus 3x. There's nothing that we could have, there's no shortcut that we could have taken given that uh, different power on the end there, or the different bracket at the start here rather. Um, we just have to leave it alone and expand it manually. 
1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. So that's 1 times out by everything. And now 3 times out by everything, I'm going to get plus 3x plus 12x squared plus 12x cubed. And now add these up and you're going to get 1 plus 7x plus 16x squared plus 12x cubed. There we are. So that's the final answer to question 4. OK, take some time to go through exercise 8a then. Make sure you persevere through those difficult questions. Answer the questions with an E next to them that are exam questions. And ask your teacher if we need any help. Thanks for watching.